Hey, how's it going guys? Today I'd like to show you how to install Age of Empires 3 on Linux using Wine. And alright, I'm going to start before showing you an entry on the Wine application database, which I wrote back in uh, July 2016. So there are some Wine tricks that I'm going to um, install. Okay, I'm going to run some Wine tricks later. And you actually you can read about them in the entry that I wrote. Just remember that one wine tricks it's not needed, so you don't need to install car fonts. Alright. So when you're reading this, mind that car fonts it's not needed anymore. And if you actually install it, you're going to screw Steam. I mean that the game is will run and everything, but you won't be able to, to read the Steam fonts. That's it. But everything else runs, Steam runs, but just without fonts, so it's pretty much useless. And uh, all right, so you can read about about them in here. Then I'm going to pcgamingwiki.com, the Age of Empires 3 page. And some people claim that the game uses DirectX 10. So if you Mm, if you set the shaders, I think. Uh, so if you set to medium, high, or every, whatever else, instead of low, the game is going to use DirectX 10. Actually, I'm not really sure about it. Uh, I'm able to maximize the game, okay, to max out the game and to run it without any problems. And also on PC Gaming Wiki, it says that the only API which is used is DirectX 9. There is no 10 here. So I'm not really sure if the game uses DirectX 10 at all. And I'll show you later that I'm going to I'm able to max max out the game. Alright. I already installed the game and if you have no idea on how to use Wine, how to set a Wine prefix, 34 bit or 64 bit how to install Steam and how to install a game using Steam. I'll leave a link in the description where I did some video tutorials and there is also a post on my blog where you can read about it and learn everything that I know. <laughs> All right, so as I say, the game is already installed. I just need to run it. But before launching the first time, I'm going to set window version to Windows XP, which on Wine, 2.021 whatever it's by default on Windows 7 so if you you, ac you can actually try Windows 7 but if the game crashes at first just set to Windows XP and see how it goes then and then I want to as you can see here emulate a virtual desktop 800 600 the default it's fine okay now I can launch the game I'm launching a shortcut here, which, as I said, if you watch the tutorials that I did, you will you will understand what I'm doing. Basically, I'm running Steam with, uh, with the app ID so that it launches straight the game. Okay, I close here and I show you how it is. So Age of Empire Complete Collection. This is the default game and those two are the expansion or whatever so if you select the the default game it's going to install some some packages such as directives or something else at first and then it asks you for the keys now i said before that core fonts it's not needed anymore and the problem that i had back then is that i wasn't able to to uh, type the my product key so these are five characters per tab here oh wait one two three four five as you can see now i'm able to run to to type five characters back then i wasn't able to run to to type uh, more than four characters in the first tab in the other tabs was fine i was able to type five characters in the first one i wasn't able but now it's fixed so you don't need core fonts anymore by the way I'm not uh, inserting my product key but you can insert yours validate the game and it just run 
I'm pretty sure because I already did that back then. So I'm going to close this and going actually to run one of these two where you don't need uh, the the key. Actually, before doing that, I almost forgot. You want to set a where is it library a launch option okay it's already there so this is uh you don't need to do this but to skip the cinematics videos and everything you can set no intro cinematics plus no intro cinematics which you find on pc gaming wiki i'll leave the link in the description there it is essential improvements no intro cinematics i don't need browser anymore close I want to close Steam also. No, actually, I need it to launch the game. And then I'm going to run War Chief. Chiefs. To show you that the game is running out of the box. You can accept the EULA. Skip the cinematics, as you can see. And now there is this first, let's say, error with this L3 codec, which I'm going to fix later. You can attempt to run, and the game will run without problems, as you can see. But as you can see here, you have now a problem with quartz. And this is going to stay like this forever. As you can see, the game is running fine. But you have the, the terminal which is going crazy for quartz. Anyway, I'm going to show you the graphical option. Anti-aliasing, high, everything's maxed out. Later I will change the resolution. As you can see shader, very high. Everything is high, this is normal, it's maximum. Okay, and as you can see, it's running fine. Okay, but right now I want to exit because I want actually to fix these quartz and the codec, the previous codec problem. So I'm going to exit and I want to run these wine tricks as I showed you before. So L3 codec X, quartz and D sound. You need this sound because actually when you install quartz then you have no sound anymore. So first you have the sound, then you, you try to fix something but you screw with the sound. So just run this wine tricks. That's it. And I can run Age of Empire. This will appear every time you need to launch the game. As you can see, the errors now are gone. You still have this 3D um, DirectX error, but it's no big deal. And sometimes it appear, it appears. So I can launch a skirmish, nameless, create, play. To show you that the game works with the shaders and everything. Then later I'll change the resolution. An honor to fight by your side. And uh, also use Gallium 9. As you can see, the game runs super fine. It's maxed out, no issues at all. The textures are correctly rendering. That's it. So let me resign and quit. Go back and set the resolution to 1080p. Okay. I want to exit and I want to close Steam. Hopefully it will close, probably not. Okay, perfect. Now I want to uncheck emulate a virtual desktop and I also want to yeah, actually show you Gallium 9 later so you can see the differences. So you can run now Age of Empires. It will start, the shortcut will start the, the default. 
Age of Empire where I need to uh, enter the key as you can see first time set up it's always up here I'm going to yeah let's as in dynasties same accept okay I guess I need to change the resolution also for for every single game so let's go option anti-aliasing high and everything else is already in high on a high level okay that's it I can play a skirmish just play play As you can see, the game is running fine. Sometimes it drops. I'm using vanilla wine, but the game is running fine. All the textures are there. No error, no direct extend being used. Okay. So let me resign and quit. And before actually using Gallium 9, I'm going to show you that the game suffers some problem with the multiplayer and the multiplayer maybe work I'm not sure really because I'm not able to to create a, a profile from here and apparently on the internet you are not able to to create a profile so if I select new account and then I type all my nickname questions email and everything it says that the login failed so if you already have an account then you probably are able to log in and to play multiplayer because as you can see the game works probably not I have no idea and uh, I searched the, the internet to be to create actually the a profile on the internet but looks like you are not able to do that I mean you have to create a profile in game while in game and then you can modify it using the internet i mean with a browser so i cannot talk about uh, the multiplayer i really have no idea if it works or not okay so let's now select gallium 9 so that you see how the game works by using gallium 9 You have a devenum error there, but I'm not gonna fix that. Skirmish, play, play. And as you can see with Gallium 9, it just works way, way better than it did on a uh, vanilla wine sometimes it had like uh, some drops to the 60 fps now it drops to 120 maximum or 100 so really if you have an AMD card just use Gallium 9 and it's going to give you way more fps and stability as the normal game with wine anyway as you can saw before with vanilla wine and I guess also wine staging they just work fine works they, they work fine so if you have an Nvidia card you're able to get some high FPS all right that's it hope it was helpful and uh, the game as you can see around fine both of them so just uh, type your uh, your key unfortunately this is a Microsoft game so fucking have to throw keys and here and DRM everywhere by the way it's Microsoft what do you expect 
anyway just enter the key and then you're able to launch the game as you can see the game itself so the engine works it works fine with vanilla wine it works great with gallium 9 just apply run this wine tricks wine trick so these three packages and then you are able to to play the game and everything okay hope it was helpful and i'll see you in the next time guys bye bye